It's important for people to understand that while there can always be a very low chance of a serious side effect, that in medicine we really have to go by percentages and does the benefit outweigh the risk. Vaccines are basically a concept whereby the body is shown part of a pathogen so that it can avoid the illness, but still mount an immune or antibody response as a protective mechanism for seeing that pathogen in the future. The durability or duration of vaccine immune protection varies based on a number of factors. The age of the individual who's been vaccinated, the health of the individual who's been vaccinated, and the pathogen that is contained in the vaccine. The history of vaccines is extensive and it's based on millions and millions of people around the world in different racial and ethnic groups in different countries for different pathogens. And vaccines go through rigorous testing in terms of clinical trials, initially in lab settings, which is called in vitro, and then in vivo, which is in a real living organism, first in an animal, then in human beings. There can always be side effects to vaccines, and we see the data in clinical trials, and that is before the vaccine gets authorization or approval for use. So a side effect could be anything from pain or redness at the injection site to headache, fatigue, muscle aches, some GI disturbance. It runs the gamut, so that is why clinical trials are done, and that's why they're done with tens of thousands of people. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.